Madagascar authorities are increasingly concerned by the alarming scale of gold trafficking and the money laundering that accompanies it. The government adopted multiple measures to stem this problem, in particular through the lifting of the suspension of the legal export of gold, the establishment of a new official export process, the creation of one-stop shop for gold at Antananarivo Airport and the granting of approvals to operators. However, illegal gold exports continue to threaten the economy and undermine the budgetary targets set by the government. In 2020, Madagascar decided to suspend the export of gold to clean up the sector, limit smuggling, and the lack of repatriation of currencies obtained from the export of the precious ore. The suspension was lifted in 2022 with an authorization which is accompanied by a series of measures intended to better regulate the sector by ensuring better traceability of the yellow metal between its extraction until its export and by tightening the repatriation rules of currencies. Gold smuggling in Madagascar causes the government to lose very significant annual revenue. According to the Official Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative report in 2019 to 2020, the country recorded only 2,423 kilos of gold exported in 2019 and 1,778 kilos in 2020. An investigation unveiled by the government also revealed that between 12 and 15 tons of gold are smuggled annually, with financial losses amounting to more than $900 million.